part two of the video series on how to build closed stringer stairs in the basement here now. As you can see, I've already pre-built my landing. I have, this is an L-shaped stairs. I have a staircase going up there that I've already built. I have prepared where the stringers will mount to. This is a three-quarter inch piece of plywood. It's set the distance of the final staircase. And then eventually this will all be drywall. Now, because I still live here, I have to keep remaining to use the, uh, the, the old stairs. So I've temporarily made a mounting surface over here. I have two clips that will receive the stringer. The stringer will sit on top of here. I have reference marks marking the inside diameter or inside dimensions of the stringer, as well as a reference mark for the final floor. Here you can see that off camera, I have cut the stringers to length, I've cut the angles. Another thing I've also added is this notch here, and that's going to be sitting uh, on the receiving clip on the wall that I just showed you. Now the visible side, what I've done is I've used a chisel instead so that the clip isn't visible all the way through. And we'll just sit in here and, and the stringer will sit right on there. Now you can see here on the bottom end of the stringer, I have also cut it to length. And another thing I've done is use the same uh, router setup and made a notch here. So I can permanently secure another clip to the cement floor that will rest and against the, the back face of the stringer here. And that will stop it, like I mentioned prior, uh, from sliding out. And I've done that to both ends here. I've cut down a sacrificial piece of spruce here the same length as a tread. I, what I can do is slide this into the top of the stringers. Along with a pipe clamp. Come on. lock the top end together. From the inside surface of my mount, I can now take a carpenter square and I will roughly square the stringers. I can see a lot of space here, so I'm going to move the bottom of the stringer out and get these square with the wall. I now have the stringers square to the wall. I have also plumbed the stringers vertically. Uh, I've added another clamp on the bottom to assist in that. On the bottom, I've secured a 2x4 to the cement floor. This is only temporary, so that when I pound the wedges in, I don't misalign anything. The final floor will have a smaller piece of wood in this notch, which I described at the start of the video. If you've made all your cuts right, the first tread should slide into place with little sanding. take a sacrificial block as to not damage my rabbit on the back of the tread and lightly tap this into place. I've done a little bit of sanding on the bottom to make sure the tread goes into place. Once it's home, I'm now going to make a few measurements to ensure that everything is still plumb and square. Just place the next tread in and what I'm doing is I'm checking to see if there's a space between the stringer and the tread itself. I'm just doing this by looking in each corner and it looks very tight. So what I'm going to do drive this one home as well. Now I have a few more clamps keeping the stringers tight so they don't open up. I've done a tiny bit of sanding on this one to make sure that it slides into place. That looks as if 
That's as good as it's going to be. What I'm going to do is temporarily put wedges as they would in their final position. Just so I can now test out this the first uh, riser. Another thing that I'm doing is now checking the back to see if there's any space in the back. And it looks like it's creeped out. Measure inside to inside. It's creeped out about a sixteenth. So as I work my way up, I'm going to keep clamping and ensuring that the outside face of the stringer, both of them are plumb. So I have my first riser here. I'm going to test the fit by coming in behind. doesn't fit. I've noticed that this triangle here is stopping me from sliding the riser up. There's not enough room to get that riser up. So what I'm going to do is take a chisel and I'm going to knock that square, that little triangle off. I've moved the little triangles on both sides. Now I can slide the first riser in and test the fit. Note the triangles will only need to be removed on the first riser because I'm so close to the ground. I'm going to slide the riser into the dado on the second tread. It's in its home position. Underneath the dado and rabbit between the tread, or sorry, the riser and the tread, it's not sliding in. So I'm going to run out to the joiner and just take a little bit off the top edge of this riser so that it fits. I took about a 30 second off the top face of the, of the riser with the joiner, and now when I slide it in, 